You see, I'm aware of the fact that my mom's having 12 kids and me being the last of 12 made it virtually impossible for her to teach me the things that she might have wanted to teach me. I mean, and there's a reason for that. I mean, 12 kids and some of those 12 kids who had kids and chose not to take care of their kids meant my moms couldn't give me all those things that I might have needed, like attention, to relieve my being at tension, you know? Because attention does relieve our being at tension. You notice how everybody's on Facebook, Tastebook, Hookbook, and Shookbook, the last book, take a look at the book. So what happens is I recognize what my mother went through. You know, my father was into doing something back in those days because TV was rare. And fortunately for me, I'm here because most people would have stopped at six or seven kids, but my mom and dad chose to have 12. And it made it a little difficult for me to be able to see all the attention that a mother could give me. So that being said, mom gave me enough attention and the love that she did mention opened up my eyes and made me recognize because I'm not good at understanding like standing under. My thing is to recognize. And I recognize the fact that my mother had a heart that was open and she loved more than most. And all those kids that she had made it difficult for her to give me what I needed. So I had to go to the street in search of what it all means. Innocence, looking for answers. You know, I bumped into addictions and I used substances that led me into places and spaces inside my mind that made me think about that which wasn't uh, too divine. But I got it together and checked out my mind. And fortunately for me, I learned that reality is all in the way you manipulate a line. You see, it's not about wearing the finest threads and the finest clothes. It's more about recognizing, not understanding how the game goes and knowing who you are. And if you don't know who you are, at least know what you are for, 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 for the moment of seeing. I'm a spirit having a human experience. And that's what I consider a human being. And I'm grateful to my mom, more so to my sister Lorraine, because she filled in a lot of the space while mom was taking care of everybody else's kids. And those same kids she took care of turned their back on her just like some of my brothers and sisters did. But it's okay because Lorraine was there for me and mom and her daughters too. Ah, it is what it is, but life goes on. At least now I'm aware of why I am where I am and how I grew to be who I've become. I'm grateful. And with that, I let you guys go. Me and Zilla have things to do. Hello, hello, hello.